Hi, I'm Macy Ledbetter, wildlife biologist for SpringCreekOutdoors.com. I'm Bob Parker, and I'm the owner of the Lonesome Coyote Ranch, along with my wife, my daughter, and my son-in-law. We're coming at you today to doing a DMP. We're going to have three helicopters in the air. We're catching does and bucks, about 125 does and several bucks, putting them in a pen for temporary breeding purposes. This is a commercial hunting operation in one of the finest in South Texas. Check it out, LonesomeCoyote.com. We'll be right back right after this. So what we're going to do this morning, Jack, is catch uh, 20 does and a buck here mm -hmm. at this ranch. Mm -hmm. We're going to load all of our equipment up, go down the highway, and re restart the process on the other ranch. We've got uh, 100 deer to catch over there and five bucks. So got good weather, 10 mile an hour winds, low, low temperatures. It's going to be a good day. Yeah, it'll be. Tenny Doug's going to ride with me for a little while. Okay. And then over there when we're really catching more deer, yeah. it's lower brush. He can get better footage over there, so today, or right now, he's going to be with me. Okay. Because we're going to catch this buck right here around the house, so he can get some footage on, on the ground. Okay. And then over there with y'all, he can get footage up high. Okay. So. I'll carry it if you got a box. But I'll have to beat it up. So. All right, we're going to head that way. All right. Okay, what we got here, we've got a nice five-year-old buck. We're going to catch him and put him in the DMP pen. That stands for Deer Management Permit. We hand-selected this buck due to his mass, his multiple points. One a big non-typical here. So this is a great deer. We're trying to move him as quickly as we can to reduce stress. So he's headed to the pen with 20 pretty girls. What you just saw there was the winds blowing about 15 miles an hour and the helicopter was going downwind and they just can't catch. They can't safely fly downwind. So he ran that doe across the Sendera downwind, turned her around, and when he put her back into the wind, he was able to catch up to her and safely fly and net her. So that, that, that was the reason that he pushed her across the Sendera. She didn't get away from him. He did that on purpose so that he could turn around, bring her back across the Sendera and catch her into the wind. You guys stay tuned, we'll be right back for more South Texas Deer Capture. Welcome back from the commercial. This is South Texas Deer Capture, McMullen County. My name is Macy Ledbetter, wildlife biologist. We're on the Lonesome Coyote Ranch. What you're seeing here is the DMP, the Deer Management Permit, sanctioned and per permitted by Texas Parks and Wildlife. This is one of the more aggressive, progressive permits we have in Texas. This is one of the main reasons we have big bucks in Texas, aggressive deer management.
What we're waiting on right now is the uh, the, uh, the catch helicopter is going to go back to get nets. They carry six nets and about 30 minutes of fuel. So roughly every 30 minutes they go back for either nets or fuel or both. So the action's wide open when we're catching deer and then we just stop and relax and, and take a little break and then it's wide back open again. So we've got another big helicopter spotting for us. So as that guy's refueling, re-netting, the big helicopter's spotting. So you'll see the little helicopter come back into the field and go straight to the big helicopter and the catching begins all over again. Welcome back to the South Texas Deer Capture on the Dos Rios Ranch in Matt Mullen County. You notice that I'm wearing chaps, gloves, snake boots, pretty much protective wear, eye, eyeglasses. This is pretty aggressive work, a lot of dust, a lot of thorns. You've seen us catching deer and the cactus and the thorns, everything out here in Texas, you know, either bites or pricks you. Uh, a lot of rattlesnakes in South Texas. We have been bitten by rattlesnakes. And so you can't be watching for snakes at all the time or you can't get your job done. So we, we wear all this guard for protective. We're as careful as we can, but like I said, we have had guys bit with the shafts, bit with the Chippewa boots, and, and, it, and it works every time as advertised. So we just keep on working. May or may not kill the snake. May have to clean out our bridges, but we get back in and keep going. So, but it's a rough environment out here in South Texas. Everything's got a thorn on it. Um, but you notice that we're trying to take care of these animals as quickly as we can. We protect their eyes. We tie them up so they, can't, they don't hurt themselves. And we move them as quick as we, as we can. We're trying to reduce stress. So we're on the Dos Rios Ranch in Matt Mullen County. If you're looking for a place to see this up close and personal, check out their website. So I want to shout out to all of our veterans. I'm wearing my Combat Marine Outdoors cap today in honor of all of our veterans. So happy Veterans Day from Lonesome Coyote, Dos Rios Ranch, and Spring Creek Outdoors. We'll be right back after this commercial break. So it's best to always wait for backup. You see, I tried to handle her some big, mature South Texas doe. Looks like four or five year old doe. I don't know how old she is, but she's a mature doe. Saw how strong she was. I'm 230 pounds. She just jumped up and, and drugged me a little ways in the net. So I'm gonna just sit here and put my weight on her, hold her down, wait for backup, because these animals are scared. They're strong. Uh, got adrenaline pumping. You see, she's breathing hard. I don't want to restrict her, her, her ability to breathe, but I'm gonna wait on help because those back legs are extremely powerful, very quick, and somebody can get hurt quickly. And so there's no need to fight these things individually. I'm just gonna sit here and hold her down and wait for additional help. And then we'll get her out of here, get her quick, taken care of as quick as we can. I didn't have any tire rope that ain't <laughs> shit. Keep the camera on that guy next to us. He's, he's known to dive on deer and he'll, he'll sell one out. He'll take one for the team. Cactus, it don't matter. Watch this guy next to us because he's a good guy. He played linebacker in high school football, so there's no telling what you'll able to catch him do. Keep an eye on him, Doug.
Did you? Yeah. I need to see that. I got your own video down. Nice. <laughs> uh, I'll be back. Gotta get that. You used to play linebacker? <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> that was a good tackle. <laughs> I had no idea of his truck. That's right. Probably said he's trying to get back here. Hey, good tackle. <laughs> Thank you. I know you play linebacker yeah, for somebody. Star! <laughs> it's the best Woo! big fat Woo! star. Right. He's half Indian. <laughs> That's it. Absolutely. It's cool. Doug, we put the socks on their eyes to protect their eyes and also to calm them down. These are just standard old tube socks. We cut the top off of them. We protect their eyes now from dirt and brush and, and, and wind, but it also calms them down because now we take their eyesight away from them. We still have their hearing, but we take their eyesight away from them and they really, really do calm down. And this is all about stress reduction. Roper Yow, right hand man on the four wheeler right here. Jardinton America. It's tough as they get right here. Wish I could talk about a mile breath. <laughs> that was dough number 100. We got it done in about five and a half hours. It's real warm, it's real windy, but we got a really good ranch, a lot of roads, a lot of senderas, a lot of deer, obviously. So that's deer number 100 in about five hours, give or take. So we're really happy to be here. Roper, you did a good job. Thanks, sir. You and the guys, Flying J Service, Heinz Helicopters. Heinz helicopters out of Charlotte, flying Jays out of Jordanton. If you ever need a helicopter capture crew, this is the A-team right here. This is the Dynamic Outdoors. We're in South Texas catching deer for a DMP. This is a great show. Hope to see you again sometime. Thank y'all. Well, Bob, thank you for allowing us to come out here today and, and practice uh, intensive deer management on the Lonesome Coyote Ranch. Appreciate everything you've done. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Bob Parker, Lonesome Coyote Ranch. My name is Macy Ledbetter, Spring Creek Outdoors. And, and this is Dynamic Outdoors. We hope you enjoyed today's show. See you on the other side. <laughs>